Alright guys, we just got out of the water. I am absolutely freezing cold. Let's go ahead and check out some of the stuff we found. So I'm gonna start things off with my favorite find of the day. And I'm so stoked that I actually found this thing, man. Look at this. I found an LG phone. This is such a rare find right now. And I can't believe I actually found this. This guy must have just recently lost it because there's not too much river slime on it. I don't think it turns on. I honestly don't even know how to turn his phone on. But man, I was so stoked when I found this. I'll put this in some rice and if it turns back on, we'll see if we can find out who this belongs to. And I'll be sure to give it back to the owner. But uh, man, this thing was just sitting right on top of the sand. I didn't find it with the metal detector, but still a great find. I was so happy when I found this thing, man. And after that, I found pretty much nothing but little pieces of metal. How lovely. Like I found just pieces of metal. I didn't even know what it goes to. Like a little cup maybe? I don't know, like a little metal cup or something. Found an old nail. Found a spoon. Found some like old beer bottles. I found a bag full of just random pieces of metal. Look at this. You know what? I found a bottle cap. That's pretty cool. When I first found this thing, I thought this was going to be my very first ring. Look at this. But I'm honestly not too sure what this is. But my heart sank for a second, man. I was like, oh my gosh, is this it? This is a pretty cool find. Look at this thing, man. It's a giant nail. So a few years before I moved here, there's a dam going across the entire river just right here. You see that building right here? That was the old dam, and it went across the entire river, and they blew it up right before I got here. And I think this might be one of those nails from that old dam, or maybe from like a railroad bridge. I'm not too sure, but this is a pretty cool find. My bag is nothing but nasty. Oh, what's this? Oh, I found a coin. <laughs> I forgot about this. I actually found some money today. I found two coins. Check it out. I found a penny and a quarter. This penny is actually pretty like corroded looking. Look at this. Broken off on the side. So it's been in the river for a pretty long time. I can't even see anything on the face anymore. But I uh, found a really old penny. And I also found this quarter. I'm not too sure how old this is. Oh, it's 2002. The quarter doesn't look like it's all in that bad condition. But this penny, man, is absolutely destroyed. This thing has been in the river for a very long time. Check this thing out. So when I first found this, I was like, oh my gosh. Like, what in the world is this? I had, like, this uncovered. And I thought it was, like, some type of bomb, maybe. But when I got it out of the sand, I noticed that it's probably just an old boat anchor. But regardless, like, this is still pretty cool. This must have been in the river for so long, man. So that's an awesome find, too. This is probably the biggest sinker I've ever found in my entire life. Look at this thing, man. There's a hook right here, too. I have never found a sinker this big before, but uh, this thing is pretty cool. So these are like the normal size sinkers I find, and I've found a handful of these out here. And like always, I'll be sure to hand them out to some cat fishermen, or I'll save them for myself for future fishing as well. My metal detector was going off so much, it was just, <laughs> it's mostly just like rusted pieces of metal. So every time I found a sinker, I was like so stoked. I was like, yes, <laughs> found something good. I think it's a numbers game with this metal detector. I think you just go out, have a blast, and then eventually you'll find something. But like I said, if I can upgrade to something better, I feel like I can really hunt down more things and spend my time more wisely on precious metals instead of little bits and pieces like this. Found some more just random pieces of metal. What else I got in here? Oh, found a swim bait. This is one of the best lures of the day right here. All right, so that was all my finds. I found a lot of just random pieces of metal, but I did come across a couple cool things. The coolest thing I found today definitely has to be this phone, uh, but I didn't find it with the metal detector. It's actually sitting on the sand or the rocks, and uh, still finding a phone is so rare right now, and it's just like a great feeling every time I come across one of these. But like I said, I'll put this in a box of rice, let it sit for a few days, and if it turns on, I'll figure out who it belongs to, and I'll be sure to give it back to the owners. If I ever lost my phone and someone found it, I'd hope that person would give it back to me as well. So like always, I'll always be sure to give back the lost valuables anytime I can, if possible. So I actually left my fins at home on accident, but I was walking around the bottom of the river, and every time I jumped up, since my tank weighed so much, it felt like I was on the surface of the moon. Like I'll jump up, kind of be weightless, and then it would sink me back down to the bottom of the river. I was even doing backflips too. It was so much fun. 